Hello and welcome, this is Coolidge, and I'm playing some Space Engineers. Um, this game is amazing, uh, this game is super fun, and uh, you should all get it. It's in uh, pre-alpha right now, they do updates once a week, and add in, they're in the adding in new content thing. There's some bugs, but whatever. Um, I've been playing this one, uh, this Asteroids, these other things are whatever. Um, when you start up a game, you can do a custom world with different starts. You're going to start off with a ship. Asteroids here, you start off with this dilapidated ship. Um, yeah, this is only for creative world. You don't want that. This is uh, the one that I'm playing on right now has uh, a, sem a refinery speed times three. Everything else is all right. I do have it private if someone wants to join me. But, uh, and I have it large. I think I put it on cargo ships. I don't know. We, we'll, uh, well, well, we can see. So, yeah. These are the things that I added. Um,. I don't have any meteor showers right now. I might turn them on. We've got auto save, which actually is kind of annoying, but um, yeah, thruster damage for sure. Okay, takes a while to load up because um, it is. I do have the video settings on really high. So this is kind of like Minecraft in space, only it's far superior. And I love Minecraft. I absolutely love Minecraft. But um, well, you make ships, and they can do stuff. Um, when I first started, it was kind of hard. I had to find a, a video to understand what was going on. And uh, well. As soon as it loads, this might be too high. Oh, come on. Oh, this must be because of I'm videotaping it. It's normally not this color. Like I said, it's a little buggy. <laughs> um, so, right now I've got my, uh, right now I have uh, my, my little uh, boosters on here. I can turn them off. My jetpack. Ah, I'm flying. Put it back on. Um, this has to be because I'm videotaping it. Anyway, um, so what do we got here? This is a station under progress, of course. Turned off. I do have some gravity, a little amount. What's cool is there's these gravity generators. I'm using the K button, which is the default, to access this, and I can turn up the acceleration here. And then. I do this. Now I fall harder. Um, as long as you have your jetpack on, you're not affected by it, but you can have it on. It takes power. Power comes from nuclear reactors. I have a small nuclear, nuclear reactor here. Um, I open it up with, uh, I can do an I for inventory, and it goes right here to this small reactor. I have a bunch of uranium in there. It slowly is using it. And it's using it to power the other stuff on the station, which are... We've got some refineries here. These guys. And this guy. This guy isn't connected to the rest. These other ones are. See, I have uh, a bunch of... Uh, here, let's, I'm using the V key to go into first person. Cargo containers. And these are conveyors. These conveyors and these uh, conveyor tubes move stuff around so I can access this 
uh, refinery. And a lot of these other ones are already connected to it, like this one here, and this one. Steel plates, I can grab those. And the reason why I can grab them on this assembler, assembler 2, and you can rename everything to whatever you want. Assembler 2 is down here. It's one of these assemblers. I think it's this one. Maybe. Yep, assembler 2. Um, and so this whole thing is like interconnected with all sorts of stuff. Um, I'm building a ship. So I have these uh, these collectors that are connected down here to these cargo containers, which are also connected to uh, these assemblers and also connected to these refineries. And so the refinery takes in ore, and it's all with scientific, uh, it's a periodic table of elements names. So we've got cobalt, pota uh, little potassium, plutonium, silicon, nickel, uh, silver. Gravel comes from stone, and it's just, it's used in reactors. Um, silver, gold, um, cobalt, iron. And uh, they can make a bunch of these components, and then the components are used to make things. Like, um, so if I go to production here, I have multiple assemblers. Assembler one isn't connected to anything, but assembler like three here, I can say, hey, I want you to build a. a I can have them just build interior lights, which just, I just need construction components to build them. That's all I need. Um, those take a while. I could also just say, I want you to build, like, I'm pressing ship now, just a ton of these steel plates. And I can right click to turn them off. So what the assembler then does is, assembler two, Wait, was that three? That was three. It gets the resources it needs. You know, here's this volume. Everything's by, you know, volume, how much space it's taking up. And then it spits out these components. Now, I set up my thing wrong, and I've since realized how to set them up correctly, where it'll take all the finished product and throw them all back into uh, these storage containers only. So then I no longer have a bunch of stuff in the um, in the uh, assemblers, uh, systems, assemblers. I don't want this stuff sitting in here because it can uh, take up too much space. Um, this one here, see? Look how much volume it's taking up. This one isn't connected correctly, but if I throw it back... If I throw this guy into a uh, small cargo container instead, now it goes back to building stuff because in December 4 or something, I already had queued up all this stuff. And it's just grabbing a bunch of things that it needs and it's just going to keep on making them. Just makes them and makes them. And the reason why you need that is because to build stuff, you need lots of things. All the things. So if I go to the ship I'm building, which I definitely won't finish today, like it takes a while. I mean, I'm sitting here, I just happen to have these steel plates on this one. But that's 25 steel plates for a light armor block. If I go farther over here, I put in some heavy armor blocks. I don't even know if I really like this size. This one takes... Yeah, look at how many steel plates it took. I don't have any there. And it's just going to sit here taking a while. Hopefully they'll add in, like, uh, shipbuilding facilities that you can build. So you just design it, and then it builds it. Um, what do we got here? Iron ore. Oh, so, so we got physics. The, oh, the gravity is holding it there. Yeah, come on. So I can put in my inventory. I 
just drop it. The gravity is making it go down because I've got this gravity generator. And I think it's like... Shit, how... Oh, it's like... Alt F12? No. Control Alt F12? I haven't actually used it myself. It'll show you all the fields. I'll figure that out. So anyway, uh, you build stuff and you need to get minerals and stuff in mass. So to build, you know, like here's a couple mining vessels. I made this first one. It works alright. Um, it's turned off right now. I made this other one here. Um, this one's better. Or I like it better anyway. Um, going up to it, press T. I know I'm in it. If I press first person, I can't see shit, but if I do this, it's got a, it's got some stuff on it so I can see what mineral is what, and normally it doesn't look like this, it doesn't, it doesn't look like this, and I'm able to tell what, what is what, um, but we've got, uh, six of these, I'm holding alt and pressing click to move around. And, uh, yeah, this is definitely a small one. There's huge ones that one can make, but this will push, and I can just make giant holes. And get, come out of here. I can press I and it will show me the inventory of the ship I'm in. And you can see I've got a bunch of, of, uh, of ore in here. Not Well, not very much ore, but anyway. Um, controls are pretty standard. Q and E are the ones that rotate the way I'm rotating. This way and this way. Um, so if I line up here... And that next one's going to have tons of these uh, connector units that's sitting right there. C goes down. Um, so, you know, obviously they can add some more stuff to help this be a little easier. But uh, for right now, if we do this, we can uh, move over. And then we go into um, K, which is all the control panels of everything that's on this. Am I spotlight it? I must have hit it on something. Anyway, um, so what they just added in the last thing was we can now have. Um, you can now make groups. So you can say, I can say drills. And drills itself is a group which I can then use control or shift or whatever I can save it. So now drills is all of these and I can just turn them all on and off that way. Yeah. It kind of moves the ship around. Um, so anyway, uh, we can go back to K and this connector is the thing I want. And this connector is shooting out the purple stuff right now. And that just goes into the collector. And, uh, yeah. Then it goes along, and um, if the refineries are open, uh, the refinery will take in the stuff. And um, these two refineries here, they'll take in the stuff, and they will uh, then start just m spitting out bunch of, of things. Um, now I mentioned that there is a way, and I'll, I, I can make a video on it, to make sure that everything is uh, set up so that it will spit the materials back <coughs> that you want. So that, uh, is it just asteroids? It'll spit the materials everywhere, and so it'll all go, go into storage. Um, now, the 
there are some things like this one just this beacon you can put the beacons on these things um, I uh, I stole these ships I started with this one over here this is what you start with and it has um, it doesn't have the stuff that's down on the bottom down here all that I added I added my own connector into it so I could just drop off stuff but it has uh, there's a gyroscope it's got a refinery um, and a, an assembler and its own storage. And I can go in here. There's these doors. Oh god, they fixed the doors. The doors were were only open. They'd only open halfway. So I can go in here to this guy. And uh, I can press Y to turn it on. I can press uh, T to get off of that. Um, um, oh, you can see in the bottom left, uh, bottom left of the screen, there's stuff that shows health, speed, my mass, my volume. I can only carry up to 400 liters of volume at a time. Here's a gravity generator. And, uh, this medical unit as well this medical unit will f top off your health in case you lose some health and it will also top off your energy so if I press T it gave me back to 100 energy also being in the cockpit re recharges your energy it's recharging energy from this nuclear reactor here if I go into it I've got tons of it it starts off with stuff that it starts you start off with about five minutes of fuel left I've got a lot more fuel. <laughs> um, but when you start off, what you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to do something like this. You're going to want to find an asteroid. and you need to park the guy near the asteroid. Preferably near some like iron and uranium is the thing that you need immediately. Oops, it's gonna, eh, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. All right, so if I press T here, I can turn this guy on. Um, turn up the height width, turn it on. It's gonna use lots of power. So we go back over to here and press uh, T. We can see I have three days of fuel time left. A lot less fuel time. Ah, uh, oops, I. All right. So, well, to that gravity generator, that is up, this is down, okay? because it's where the gravity generator is. So if I press uh, X, my jetpack is now off. I'm on the ground. I can press, uh, I can then, if I press G, that's going to my toolbar here, and I get the handrail. And this is what you have to use at the beginning. You have to sit here and do this. And the reason why you need the gravity generator is because, uh oh, okay, that's not a hole. I thought that was gonna be like a hole. I would die. Um, is so that all the things all accumulate, and then you pick them up. And, and whatever. Ooh, I don't know how that happened so quickly. pick them up and uh, you can do it from either from there's lots of different ports for all these uh, uh, for all the things like the refinery here there's a port inside and I'll show that but I can throw this stuff in here and I'll just turn on and automatically just start making them iron is really quick um, especially with my times three but 
uranium takes a long time. And that's the thing you need first. Because, like I said, you have like five minutes of time left. So, I can go on to here, and I can turn it off, or I can just go on to here. Yeah. And uh, I can turn off the gravity generator from here. But that's how you have to mine until you get enough. Then your point of what you're doing is to then uh, make a, a little ship. I'm going to turn this guy off as soon as he comes to a stop. If he doesn't come to a stop, the speed over in the in the right side there, you see the speed? If I just turned it off, I'd just keep on going forever. But I can turn it off now. I can leave. And because there's no thing in the front, I can, it'll sometimes spit me out that way. These other ones I've stolen, they, they cut through the area. You see these military escorts. Um, these, this is like a mining hauler or something. And uh, I've stolen them with the intent of disassembling them and taking all their shit. Um, I haven't got to that point yet. Um, my little cruisers that I went around stealing stuff on have been destroyed because uh, if you try to take a military one, they are booby trapped. And uh, well, the first I didn't know that, and that one died. Second time I figured it out, and I tried. What I tried to do was slow it to a complete stop because when you turn on the inertial dampers, dampeners. Here, I'm gonna turn on this one. Come on, come on, get in there, get in there, get in there. T. Alright, so if I turn this one on, they barely have any fuel left once you start actually moving. Um, but they are booby-trapped with warheads in them, the, the military ones. So, here we can, uh, believe, uh, what is it, Z? Yeah, Z. So Z turns off the inertia dampers. And as you can see, I'm going at 7 meters per second. The only way to make me stop is to turn around from the way I'm going and do it manually. See? But I can press Z and then all the thrusters fire correctly because I have a gyroscope. And then I can turn this guy off. Oops. Anyway, when you turn on the inertial dampeners, as in, I got to where I want to go, uh, they blow up, and they're set to blow off your uh, gyroscopes. And so, the first one I just died. The second one I was able to live, and, but the gyroscopes were off, and so it was just spinning and spinning through space. And I tried to make it stop, but I couldn't, and I ended up killing myself to get away from it, because I was... Quite a few kilometers away from where I am. So, I need to make a new little ship. And, uh, I'll probably do that. Um, God, I wish this thing didn't show up. I wish it showed correctly, like, you know, what, the, what these things are. It's normally not purple. Sorry. Um, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so to make a new ship, and I'll probably just make, you, you can do a new small ship, and you start off with these guys, and what's nice about starting off with one of them is, <coughs> is 
that you can anchor them to things. If I just put it here, construction components. Construction components go. So if I just put it here, which I can, it's totally fine, except I can do this. Now, now it's gone. Now that's gone. It's, it's gone. Um, and so as you're building it, you might actually hit it. So you can what they will do is the first one even though it's not fully formed and I'll show I'll show you what I mean by that in a second you can clamp it and you see it's got a green clamp on it it's not going anywhere but when I press it you can see I need a large steel tube and a motor and a steel plate in order to get this to actually be a full thing so I can't really control it yet but what I can do then, well, I need I need steel plates for this, but I can then add all my pieces to it, to this little ship, and they won't go anywhere if I accidentally bump it. So that's what that's for, and uh, maybe next time I'll show that. But I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. Uh, I normally play, you know, Europa Universalis, but I'm waiting for the new patch because. Uh, I get so frustrated by about 16.50 in that game because the core, well, the core timers are all gone, but then also the thing that they're changing in the new patch is uh, it now doesn't take, like, 10 years to um, core something just because you're big. And I like getting big, so. Okay, well, I will see you next time, and thanks again for watching.